Hello, my name's Charlotte, and I work in the education department at Yorkshire Water. Usually we invite groups of children to our on-site education centres so they can experience the water treatment process firsthand and hopefully think a little more carefully about the way in which they use water. However, with everybody stuck at home, we've had to be a little more inventive in the way that we work. So with huge thanks to our colleague John Haley for his footage, we're really pleased to be able to invite you on a virtual tour of our Acom Landing Water Treatment Works in York. We hope you enjoy it. Each day, Yorkshire Water produces around 1,250 million litres of clean water for use in homes and industry. Around 45% of our raw water comes from reservoirs in the Pennines, like this one. 33% comes from rivers and the remainder from groundwater, pumped up to the surface via boreholes. While groundwater usually only requires minimal treatment, river and reservoir water will go through a tougher treatment process at a treatment works like this one. We start with screening. The water passes through a huge metal screen to remove things like leaves and twigs. Let's go inside the works for a closer look at the rest of the process. When water arrives at the works, the first process it will go through is called flocculation. Chemicals are added at the flash mixers to act like a magnet for smaller impurities like dirt, natural colour and bacteria. The chemicals form a sort of jelly called flock. The flock then has to be removed from the water. To do this, air is bubbled through the tanks to make the flock float to the surface to form a blanket which can be removed. Much like the bubbles in this fizzy water stick to these raisins and carry them to the surface. This process is called Dissolved Air Flotation, or DAF for short. The clarified water is then moved to filtration tanks, where it is passed through filters which usually contain a layer of sand on top of a layer of gravel. This removes any final traces of flock and metals such as iron and manganese. These filters are cleaned daily in a process called backwashing. Air and water are pumped back into the tanks in order to shake off any sediment trapped in the sand. The wash water is taken away and the tank is ready to be put back into operation. The whole process takes around 40 minutes. Raw water from rivers may also contain chemicals such as herbicides or pesticides. To remove these we need to use ozonation. Ozone is a gas which is a powerful oxidant. Where needed it is bubbled through the water to remove any traces of pesticides or similar compounds. The water is then filtered through granular activated carbon in filter beds, removing the byproducts of ozonation. You may have noticed that there aren't many people at this treatment works. This isn't just because we're social distancing. The water treatment process is automated. Generally our team come along to perform maintenance tasks as needed. The screen you can see here is the overall control system and can be viewed from anywhere within Yorkshire Water's network. This enables us to react very quickly if things go wrong. The data that feeds into the computer comes from panels of instruments like these, which operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The water is now clean and fresh. All that remains is to add a small amount of chlorine in the contact tank keeping it safe all the way to your tap. The clean water is stored for up to 12 hours in large service reservoirs, so there is always plenty ready when our customers need it. <laughs>